The seven star terror raid event for Dragonite is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm going to cover all of the details of this event in today's video, as well as the best builds to solo this with in your game. <laughs> So I'm running from Friday the 23rd of August as of recording this video and all the way through until Sunday the 1st of September. The 7 star terror raid event for Dragonite is going to be appearing in your copies of Scarlet and Violet. Alongside this terror raid event we are also going to see special mass outbreak events. Again running for the same time from the 23rd of August until the 1st of September you're going to see outbreaks for Lavatar and Bagon appearing more frequently in Paldea. Mass outbreaks of Gumi and for the first time ever exclusively available to catch in Scarlet and Violet outbreaks for Hisuian Sligu that was only formerly available to be able to be caught in Pokemon Legends Arceus. These outbreaks of course in Kitakami and finally outbreaks for Beldum throughout the Blueberry Academy. All of the outbreak events that are appearing in this event will have increased shiny chances so it's going to be a really good way for you to go out and get the shinies of these Pokemon when they're appearing. And alongside that, they will have increased chances of having the charismatic mark. So this one's a really nice one to take advantage of, especially for that Hisuian Sligu that is not normally available within gameplay. So to access event, once you're in your game, come to your menu screen and then into your poker portal. Make sure you are connected to the internet and come down to Mystery Gifts. Once you're in Mystery Gifts, come down to the section of Get Poker Portal News. This will connect you to the servers. This will update all of the raid dens in your game, as well as those mass outbreak events. When you come onto your map, you'll be able to locate the seven star terror raid in Paldea for the Dragonite, as well as all the mass outbreak events in the respected areas we've covered in today's video. Now, like we've mentioned, the Dragonite will be running from August the 23rd until September the 1st. It will be level 100. It will have its ability in a focus, meaning it will have an immunity to anything that will flinch it and any intimidates. The moveset that it does have is going to be Extreme Speed, Scale Shot, Dragon Dance and Earthquake with the additional moves of Rain Dance, Hurricane, Thunder and Draco Meteor. We'll have the Mightiest Mog, can never be shiny and of course it will have the normal terror typing. Its nature here will be Brave and it doesn't have a held item but can only be caught once per save file. Now it's interesting to look at the mechanics of the raid itself. The shield will activate on 75% of its HP remaining or 70% of the timer. We'll use Rain Dance and Hurricane on turn zero. So they're the first things it's going to use before we can lock in with a move. That's on 99% of the time remaining and 98% of the time remaining. Then it will guarantee to use Thunder on 95% of its HP remaining. The player stats and status will be removed on 80% of the timer. And then Dragonite will reset its stats only once through the raid on 70% of the timer. And it will guarantee to be using Draco Meteor once in this battle at 30% of its HP remaining. So they're the basic mechanics of how the raid is going to work. It can definitely help you in creating your own builds to work in this raid. And then after that, we're looking at the item drops as per usual with these seven star terror raids. Lots of XL large candies. Protein, you're going to get normal Terra Shards, TM, Ability Patch, and of course, more importantly, are those sweet, sweet Herba Mystic, as you're going to get all five of them potentially dropping in this raid with a 3% chance every time you beat the Dragonite. So a good one to go in and farm while this event is running. Again, it's running from August the 23rd until September the 1st. So the build that I'm going to recommend in today's video is one from our exact preview article that we covered earlier this week for this Dragonite raid and it is going to be Corviknight. Corviknight the flying and steel type Pokemon. Terra typing is going to be fighting. The held item is going to be a shell bell. It's going to be level 100. It has been hyper trained making sure that all those IVs are set to 31. So just make sure you do that. The moveset is going to be Taunt, Screech, Iron Defense and Body Press. Probably worth just PP Max and Body Press just in case anything goes wrong in the raid. And the ability here is going to be Mirror Armor with the EV spread of 252 EVs in HP, 252 EVs in defense with an impish nature. So to EV train the Corviknight, you're going to need to use 25 HP ups and then two Health Feathers, 25 Iron and two Resist Feathers. And then I would suggest dumping the remaining EVs into Special Defense. So that's going to be equating to one Zinc Vitamin or four Clever Feathers. So that is the Corviknight and how you are going to build it. It should look like this in your game. It'll be down in the description. If you want to take a closer look at the build after the video, we'll jump into the raid now and I'll show you how easy it is to take down this Dragonite with 
overnight. When you first come into the raid against the seven star Dragonite, you're going to have a turn zero. The Dragonite is going to set up a rain dance and then it is going to go for a hurricane. Now, rain dance will bring the rain to the field for five turns and the hurricane will be 100% accurate in that rain. But once the rain does leave the field, the hurricane probably not going to be something that you see the Dragonite use. It will be into any one of the four targets on your side of the field as well. So see here, we do get a bit fortunate and avoid it. Now, turn one, we're going to lock in with a taunt. Dragonite has got Dragon Dance and it will inevitably go for that, boosting its attack and its speed by one stage every time it uses it. So just getting the taunt off early on in this raid will mean that you're kind of preventing the Dragonite from going for too many Dragon Dances early on, at least. So you can see the shield isn't up. It does go for that. Now, the next turn, what we're going to do is lock in with a Screech. That is going to reduce the defense on the Dragonite by two stages because we don't want to go for our iron defenses too early on in this raid because at 80% of the timer, Dragonite is going to remove the stat boosts on our side of the field. So you can see the, the Screech going off there, which takes the Dragonite's defense down to minus two. Then we're just going to lock in with a body press because what we're essentially doing at this stage is just chasing down our Trastalization as soon as possible. Now, if you have something like Drift Burn that you've got here, uh, the burn is going to be massively helpful here it doesn't really mean that you need it to win this raid it will just help out a bunch with taking less attacks now when the dragonite does hit 95 percent of its health it will fire off a thunder and again that can be into any one of the targets on your side of the field uh, if it's into the Corviknight, don't worry we're not going to take too much damage from it more than we would with an extreme speed in this situation but essentially you'll be able to take it pretty comfortably body press we're just continuing to fire these off until we do see our stats dropped on our side of the field, which will be around 80% of the timer. So we'll be getting close to that around the next couple of turns. But like I say, you want to be just chasing down your Trastalization as soon as possible here. So you've got that option. So you've got a bigger damage output when you come to being set up. So what we're looking for at this stage essentially is our stats and abilities being nullified by the Dragonite. And once that's happened, we're going to, be, going to be free to set up those iron defenses. You do see the shield go up here, and that is because it is at 75% of its remaining HP. And there we go. There it goes. Dragonite nullified stats and abilities on our side of the field. Now, when this happens, you want to just lock in with your iron defenses. Again, if the Dragonite is subjected to any sort of status condition like paralysis here, it can help you out. It's not essential in this raid. You will be able to deal with the Dragonite very effectively here. But the key is not terrestrializing until you've got all three of these iron defenses set up. Now, the taunt has worn off on the Dragonite by this stage in the battle. It only lasts for about three turns, so we'll be able to get those Dragon Dances up. So it's essential that you get these iron defenses up as soon as possible. We've got the terrestrialization kind of locked in. So when we are fully set up, we've got that third iron defense off. Our defense is plus six. We're ready to terrestrialize at that stage and then start firing off and chipping away at this Dragonite's health. Now, it's not going to be the fastest way to run through it, but it's not a slow way to burn through it either. A very consistent way with this Corviknight to do the Dragonite raid. You can see we, we are a little bit lower health, and the Dragonite here removes negative effects on its side of the field. So it has removed that defense drop that we've done with Screech. But now, once we've got those three and nine iron defenses set up, we want to trustalize our Pokemon. We want to lock in with a body press and start doing some significant damage to this Dragonite. So you can see here, we are going for that fighting trustalization on a Corviknight, which is just going to make sure that our damage output is as maximum as possible to chip away until this shield is broken. Now, Dragonite going to go for a combination of Dragon Dance attacks, extreme speeds. It does have Earthquake, so that's something else that you're going to have to watch out for. We aren't weak to it, but it is going to be able to utilize it. Very rarely goes for another Hurricane throughout the raid or a Thunder, but it does fire off a Draco Meteor when it's at 30% of its health remaining. So that's just something to keep in mind here as we go through the rest of the raid. And pretty much from here on out, it's pretty much the same thing that we're doing. We're set up. We're not going to see our stats nullified from any point out. We're just going to be clicking in with the body press until we just remove it from the field. We're doing pretty significant damage here. So we don't need to worry our health is in a good position. We're recovering enough health every time you use the body press with that shell bell item. It's pretty straightforward. Once you've got through that initial kind of part of the battle, like I say, you just need to follow the steps that we did here. That taunt, turn one, screech, turn two, and then just chase the trastalization with your body press after that point. When it nullifies your stats on your side of the field, that's when you want to go for those iron defenses. Hold off going for the trastalization. And then just once you have terrestrialized, you're all set up with your iron defenses, 
fire off your body presses until the Dragonite is kind of taken down. And that's as straightforward as it can be. You know that you could get a bit unlucky with some RNG throughout the raid. The taunt, the thunder, if it does hit you, it will do significant damage. Could paralyze you as well. So that could be a little kink in the armor. But I mean, that's really bad RNG. But you can have things going for you here. Like you see, we do get a critical hit with that body press. It gets rid of the shield. So it's really speeding up the raid for us. But like I say, Overnight, I've ran through this raid a bunch of times. I think it's the fastest one probably to run through the raid and most effective, most consistent one, even though it does have that weakness to thunder. But it is as simple as that. I managed to catch the Dragonite the first time out in a Beast Ball to kind of keep that theme going with the Mightiest Mark Pokemon. So let me know down in the comments what you caught your Dragonite in uh, when you managed to take it down. And of course, if you've used something outside of the Corviknight, there are some interesting options that I do think will work. Bronzong being one of them. Orthworm is another one as well. Do let me know down in the comment section what you've used effectively to solo the Dragonite in your game. And that is as simple as it is to take this Pokemon down. And of course, because it has got Herba Mystica this weekend uh, and until the event ends on the 1st of September, you're going to be able to kind of farm this event pretty easily for those valuable Herba Mysticas that you're going to be able to get from this raid. And of course, once you've done the raid, if you want to respawn the den on your map, you can just open your map up and then hit your home menu, then come down into your system settings, then down into system, down into date and time, and make sure you synchronize clock for the internet is off. In your date and time options, just toggle through these options, click OK, hit your home menu, come back into the game, and you'll see all of your dens will respawn and you'll be able to locate that seven star terror raid den for Dragonite somewhere on your map and head over to it and just rinse and repeat what we've done with the Corviknight. If you've enjoyed today's video, please drop a like and do share this video around within the community to help those who are having maybe a little bit of a tougher time taking this Dragonite down. Of course, if you've got your own builds, please share them down in the comment section. I'd love to see what you've been having success with when taking this seven star Dragonite on. And of course, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye bye.